Hello again and welcome to the uh, next video in the series. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about how to work with stored procedures in XML. Now let's get started. From the toolbox drag and drop a grid view control onto the page. Let's reduce the size. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and configure a new data source. Choose the same connection string, click next. The only difference here when you need to configure the select statement is that you will need to specify a custom SQL statement or a stored procedure. In our case we'll be working with stored procedures so choose stored procedure. Now among the list you can choose any stored procedure you wish. For the purpose of this demonstration I shall be choosing the display all emp stored procedure. This stored procedure will return me all the values from the employees table. Click on finish. Okay, let's go ahead and enable paging, sorting, and selection. Auto format. Let me just reduce the page size to two records per page. That's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and set this as our start page and run the application. Excellent. So now you have configured your grid view to display information from a stored procedure in DB2. So let's go ahead and work with the XML part now. For this, drag another grid view control onto the page. Let's configure a new data source for this. Click on OK. Next. Now, I have already created a table called XML Web Demo. It has two fields one is the ID and the other is uh, name. Choose advanced, generate insert, update, and use optimistic concurrency. The ID field is the primary key here, and the name field is an XML column. Okay, we already have a value. So let's go ahead and insert more values. Let's go ahead and add a form view control that will help me to add values to the table. I'm just go and choose the SQL data source too. Let me drag and drop this here. Make it 11. Yeah. Let's change the default mode to insert. Sort of format this as well. Enable paging. Now, there's one thing that you will need to realize here. Let us go ahead and run the application and I'll tell you what exactly needs to be done now. Let me give it two. Hit name. Seven. Let's go ahead and insert. Now see, here there is a potential request.form.value was detected from the client. Form view, dollar, text box name, name, this. Now whatever is included within the codes is considered potentially dangerous. Now this has a workaround. So in order to do that, close the browser, navigate into your web.config file, and under the system.web section, enter the following tag. Validate pages validate request equal to false. Now what this does is it it enables you to insert XML data without any problem. So let's go ahead and rerun the application.
Let's go ahead and add two. Same name. Same. Hit insert. See? You're able to insert XML data now even into your ASP.NET websites using DB2. And this gets inserted into a DB2 table. So I hope you have found this interesting. And please send me your feedback uh, regarding the uh, video series. If there's any improvements that needs to be done. In the next video, I'm going to be uh, covering uh, DB2 web services. And that is going to be the final in the Project Learn DB2 uh, Learn Now series. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you.